Hey, welcome back to the shop, guys. So we're currently on the topic of the French cleat system. I thought today I'd go through some of the pros and cons of the French cleats. Hopefully you can make a determination whether it's the right thing for your shop. pros of the French cleat system. Number one, it just looks good. I mean, every time I walk into the shop, I'm inspired to make something. The next pro is that it's just super strong. I mean, there is probably no other storage system that I can think of that is this strong. I mean, can a pegboard really hold up my timber frame sawhorse? I seriously doubt it. The next thing that I'll say for a pro is it's very customizable. I mean, you can essentially build a cleat tool holder for almost anything. I built them for saw, uh, sandpaper, drill bits, um, my, my drills and my impact drivers, batteries, lumber. I mean, you can build it for just about anything. One of my favorite things about the French cleat system is you can rearrange any how you like. I mean, if you one day decide you want to make your shop look totally different, you can, you can take things and move it all over the place. I mean, it's so easy just to take something and move it to a different spot. Another big advantage of the French cleat system is it's not just limited to shop space. I mean, you can use it in your closet, you can use it in your kitchen, you can use it on your walls. You can even hide the cleats if you don't like it. So I think the pros of the French cleat system are fairly obvious. I mean, it's a great system, but there is some cons or some bad things about it. I think the first thing is it's it's very um, time consuming to build a system like this. I have two full walls of French cleats. It's taken me a couple years of just gradually building different holders to come up with this. And I still have other uh, storage uh, cabinets and tool holders that I want to build and it's just a slow process. The second disadvantage is it's fairly expensive to buy all this plywood or whatever lumber you choose to build it out of. I'm using the birch plywood, which is a sort of a premium plywood. It's about $50 to $55 a sheet, so it is fairly expensive. I'm not exactly sure how many sheets of plywood that I have purchased for my cleat system, but I would say I have at least two sheets just on the wall cleats on this wall and probably one on that wall. And then to build all the holders and things, I'm sure I've got three or four more sheets. So I've got several hundred dollars in just plywood and building this system. In order to save money, I definitely try to reuse my scraps and things to build different types of holders. For example, the, uh, the, the lumber storage up here, most of that was just scrap lumber that I had left over from a different project, but I still had to purchase the plywood for the cleats in the major in the main cabinet so it is it is pretty expensive i think another disadvantage is you have to put a lot of holes in your walls i've got two holes per wall cleat per stud so you know if this was a drywall uh, wall it's not but if it was i'd be putting a lot of holes in that if you're renting a space you probably can't put that many holes in your walls your landlord's probably not going to approve of that I mean, across this whole wall, I have tons of screws in the wall, so there is a lot of holes. Another disadvantage is it's fairly hard to expand once you've built a tool holder. I built this clamp rack a few months ago, and I built it for exactly the number of clamps I had. I should have built it two or three times as big because eventually I'll probably have more clamps. But in the event that I buy more clamps, I'll have to build more storage space because I didn't originally build enough. So. It is a little bit difficult to expand if you don't think about how much space you're going to need in the future. Another disadvantage or at least a consideration you should make is that you have to pay attention to obstructions on your wall like this plug. It essentially limits what I can hang here because I can't get the tool holder onto the wall cleat because of the plug cover. Another spot that limits me is my uh, dust collection system and also this water line. I had to stop the wall cleats there because of those obstructions. So you have to consider those obstructions as limiting where you can hang your tool holders and where you can mount your wall cleats. The last disadvantage that I'd share with you is it's difficult to hang cleats on stud walls. A lot of guys, their shops are not, uh, they don't have sheetrock or they don't have plywood or any cladding on the walls. They're just studded. And you can mount cleats to the walls, but they're not going to be nearly as strong 
because the tool cleats don't connect quite as firmly to the cleats mounted to the, to the stud walls. So that's another disadvantage over say a pegboard. I think the pegboards could be screwed directly into the studs and then you have all that space to mount things into the peg holes. So after a couple years of using the French cleat system, that's the things that I've come up with that I think are the good and the bad about it. It's considerations you should make before you decide if you're going to add a French cleat system to your shop. If you're enjoying this series on my French cleat system, or at least my experience with French cleats, be sure to give a thumbs up. Be sure to consider subscribing. Be sure to hit the bell notification if you'd like to be notified when I make new videos. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you on the next video.